It's one event where you battle it out. You gotta come right on the night. These guys are ready to do battle. There's a lot of competition today, and there's a, a large field that can definitely vie for the number one spot and for the top three. For this race, I'm gonna come out swinging, swimming for defenses, and if anyone gives me a sniff, I'm gonna take that without asking any questions. It's just gonna come down to who, who can elevate their style better, uh, and I think that that's what I'm gonna do to them. The guys at the top, they need to not make any mistakes because if they do, then I'll be right there. I'm coming to show what I got and show Canada how I can drive. There's nothing quite like the Canadian Championship. The format for the K1 Speed Canadian Championships is our King of Speed tournament. This format features bracket-style elimination tournaments. You go out, you get your laps in, you get your best time you can, then you switch carts with that same driver, you both go out again, you both get the best lap you can, and then they take your two best laps and they average it. And the driver with the fastest average lap time will move on to the next rounds. I'm 33 years old and Downsview T1 is my home track. When you look at uh, both tracks, uh, Toronto and uh, Mississauga, they're both unique. They have different flavors. This track is incredibly exciting just because of the speed that you carry through some of the turns. The differences with this track is Mississauga is a bit more technical versus Toronto, which I know this one's also a technicality too, but this one you can get a lot more speed. I definitely think that uh, there's more high speed areas at K1 Toronto. I think the corners are more technical. I think there's more footwork, like there's a more importance placed on footwork at this track. Kind of got to play with your brakes, play with your gas. Unlike Mississauga, Mississauga is kind of all foot, all just gas and letting off. You don't have to use the brakes. I like the Toronto track, track because it's a, it's a little bit more grueling the turns and uh, moving from corner to corner at a straight line speed. The Toronto track like is my uh, so-called home track, just a proximity, just because it's like half an hour for me to come here and uh, an hour and a half to go to Mississauga. You know, it's good to see four drivers whose you know, home track is, uh, is Toronto heat here and as well as, uh, I think it's roughly around 11 drivers we have on the grid that uh, normally race in Mississauga. So it's gonna be very interesting to see who can adapt and whatnot, it's, it's very good to be versatile, especially when you're bouncing in between the two tracks for sure. And so it's very hard to put in one single good lap here at this track. The practice that I did during the year is gonna really pay off in taking the fight to the guys like Gobinder and Christian Tyler and come here all the time. So I feel like I'm at the point now where I know the optimal line for my style for each corner. It's just about executing it perfectly in a, in a, in, in a lap. But honestly, in terms of my preparation, I don't think I could have done more. Honestly, if you're gonna be good, you gotta be good at both.
like I'm Kesha, I get to the paper, boy. Extra, extra. Work with me, you know that I got it. Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands. We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it. Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it. Boom. Boom. Baby, I'm not one of them, you should try on it. Miss me with all that I'm on it and next. Yeah. Rip this up, I send you back to your ex. But good luck with that, this is big as it gets. Okay. Hey, let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Give them a name to remember. Okay. First round done. Uh, need, to tell, need to see what's happening with uh, the first round. Not too sure if I beat Patrice or not. She's a really good racer, so nervous. Very good. I think I'm putting up a good number, so we'll see what happens. It's like a nice warm for the corners feel really, really well. Uh, nice, no bouncing, no sliding. There's all the grip in the world. I felt great. Can't complain. Uh, I think I left a little bit out there, but it's all good. Good! I could have gone better. But you know what? I did pretty well. I'm in the top 16 of the whole K1 universe, so I'm good with that. White goat! White goat! It's an awesome run. Practice all wrapped up. I'm ready for the next round, man. Going well. First round was a success. I, I won by more than I thought. Driving well. The times are... I feel like I'm driving probably the best right now in terms of maxing out what the car can do. So hopefully carry that into round two. Over the past six weeks, we've had our track record in Toronto broken four times by three different individuals. The record has uh, stood for four years until November 13th, 2023. I was uh, very fortunate enough to break that record, which was previously held by Dawson. So Gobinder took the lap record after four years in September. And from that point, I gave it everything to try and take it. You know, you'd be at home, you check your K1 speed, club, club speed, alpha on your full, new track record. Then you say, okay, no one can beat that. Myself and Govinder have been here all years, week after week, battling it out. And you know, just pushing each other to be better and then. I kind of broke my own record. Then my best buddy Christian, or we call him Tyler, he got me by like 300 of a second. But that was within a, like a week of me breaking my own record. My did take the track record with the 21.862. And that was incredible. That was an incredible feeling. When Gobinder broke the record initially, um, that was the one day of the week that I wasn't here and it was eating me up because I couldn't make it. And then I saw that Christian broke the record. And then obviously I, I've recently broken the record and I currently hold it right now, which is definitely good to know. I have, I have the records at both tracks. And as of today, Nathan Wilkie, our current K1 Speed Canadian champion, holds the current track record in Toronto and Mississauga heading into the competition. It just shows the level of skill that everyone's rising to. I think Nathan got an 811. I was like, how do you even? <laughs> it's intimidating, I'll put it that way. We all want to kick each other's ass, but at the same time, we all recognize and respect each other's racing ability and we all know how fast each other is. So it really comes down to who can perform the best today across all cars. That's what it's all about. Up in the second round, going against Gobinder. Uh, obviously, he's going to be a very tough uh, opponent to beat. Um, considering he's very fast and he can get a 20 to 21 very easily. There's a big race now up against Nathan. I had this cart last race, so I kind of know it a little bit. Hopefully, I can push a little bit more out of it, but it's going to be close. Nervous. You got the big boys in the back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, school is good. I'm much more competitive than I thought, which is really good. I'm in Tyler right now. Only 200 seconds, so let's see what we can do.
Everyone's been waiting all year for this event. Everyone's been practicing. And so it all comes down to this one night. At the same time, like everybody wants to beat each other because when you look up the scoreboard, you don't want to be the one finishing last. You definitely want some bragging rights to be, to be the one on, on top. We're honestly just like a tenth off, two tenths off from each other. These guys are ready to do battle. For this race, I'm going to come out swinging, swim for defenses. Um, and if anyone gives me a sniff, I'm going to take that without asking any questions. There's nothing quite like the Canadian Championship. So we're in the finals uh, and we're fighting for third place right now and we'll see what happens. It's pretty quick, man. It's going to be One of the top tight. dogs here. It's going to be hard. Everybody's hot today. Everybody's hot. Everybody's moving well. A lot of upsets, a lot of surprises. Everyone's, everyone's driving amazing. It's tough, man. It's tough to say what's going to happen, but you know, one more race to go. Fight for third, let's see if we can end up on that podium for third, man. Absolutely incredible how tight this competition is. Uh, I think it's gonna go right down to the wire to see who ends up winning this. And some advice that I give to the guys about to head out on track, give it your all, not only is $3,000 on the line, but also the bragging rights of K1 Canadian champion. It was desolate, but I had premonition. I was training for war every exhibition, every extra mission, every enemy listening. Get off my dick, I got bad intentions. Make it right every wrong, and I'm back with a vengeance. I show you the ropes. Peace in my town, I can show you the coast. Up in the shots if they wanted to smoke. If you know, then you know. Suited up, my whole team do the same. Don't you forget who created the game. Ready for war, I was born with grenades. The trenches were so confident man I mean the competitors are tough I mean I was confident in my ability but you never know what game people are bringing you know they all brought the A game today you know so it kept me on my toes a little but I'm glad I did it man like uh, yeah I'm lost for words right now guys like I, I I'm excited let's get some drinks guys let's go <laughs> get right there right there nice <laughs> happening y'all third place finisher going to California give it up for Chi 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 ch